I have my mother tongue Bengali in my HS subject combination. In my Bengali textbook, I have read a poem named Shikhar Circus, which means the circus of education. The particular chapter was so easy that we never read it twice and never practiced its question answers. The poem asked, if you pass class 1, you will go to class 2. If you pass class 2, you will go to class 3 and the pattern will continue until you go to class 12. And then the last stanza asked a question that when this circus would stop. If I finish all my classes, then also there will be a next class, right? I am in class 12 now. It is the last year of my school. When I answered the above question in my class 11 last year, I fumbled. Nursery, LKG, UKG. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and now 12. But Utsho, what's next? School was such a golden zone where I never find it the answer. But at this last year, I asked to myself, I am just a little failure to answer this question, but sharing my experience leaves a great impact in the heart of my juniors. Experience is experience. Whether bad or good, it doesn't matter. Its value remains same. Moreover, it becomes more valuable when we share it. My dear juniors have finished their respective terminal examinations. Some of them had boards also. I may not answer my question in life that what's next after class 12, but uh, as I have experienced all 11 class, so I think my experience may help you to solve a little question in your life. If not solved, then also a little hint in your life. So this is a small gift from Oath Show to my dear juniors, whoever watches it. If I talk about my personal life, then I have to say that my mother was a nurse. Before leaving the world, she handed over my studies to my maternal grandmother. See, talking about mothers does not mock the male in the family, okay? My father doing hardcore and breathtaking work throughout the day obviously do not get time to look after me and my studies. But the way of his support is to avail asset on which the family will run. And as our mothers generally do stay at home, that's why talking about them. Her pain is same as the father. After the tiring household works, she would supervise her child with sleepy eyes with the child's studies, though she does not know a single word of the book. Now I have lost my grandmother also, and it had been two years. So now my own studies are on my own shoulders. Well, keeping away the dramatic script of my life, let me share my study life with you. I was a calm and happy child, but school gave me no chill. I used to feel so irritated going to school that I promised never to visit it again. And like that, I have successfully skipped four years of my pre-primary academic sessions of my life. But studies went on at home. Then I went to class 1 to a nearby primary government school at my village. And there the first most awkward thing happened in my study life. A teacher asked me to study on a Hindi song. Obviously I denied and he beat me with his cane. Beating a 7 year old child with a cane was a great harass and obviously it was a big chaos at my village. I revolting this incident demanded a new school and luckily got into my current school and it's all because of it that I am fluently sharing all these experiences with you. Here where I should be admissioned in class 2, my family did it in class 1, hoping that I will be mature and study will be at ease. Now the second awkward thing that happened in my life. Now I am 18 years old and I am going for higher secondary. Yes, I am the calmest and matured one at my class, but believe me, it did not help me a bit in my studies. Well, a lower middle class family could only afford school fees, so I never got 
any tuition in my primary and upper primary classes. But one thing I got embedded inside me and it was good behavior. The element that distinguished literacy from education is a good behavior. And by it I coped with the subject and my school life as a junior went nice. Then puberty hit. Me and all the students of my age. Mental and physical changes were obviously common. But my problems were totally different. My brain started distinguishing between biology and maths. Classmates hopping on with the arithmetic progressions started seeming different from me. Me who liked simple phenomenon like caterpillar growing into a butterfly, baby growing into a mother's womb fascinated me a lot. Now was that a tilt towards biology or a good behavior towards the world that I don't understand till today also. The third thing that happened with me at those classes where I started liking art subject like history, civics, economics along with my biology and science subject. So my early puberty stage was totally messed up. Well then corona came into life and life took a turn. Online studies were not efficient on me. Somehow I lost interest in each and every subject slowly. The problem arised at my board results where I scored a little bad. But I had no confusion while choosing my subject for class 11. Keeping a middle class dream on my mind, I took science dream. Thinking that my family supports my study, I should do what my family want. Now I need to travel long distances for my tuitions, shelves filled with books and as usual uncompleted syllabus. Days are going on coping with the situations, but sometimes my mind falls in the deep ocean of overthinking. Am I apt for the science stream? Can I do something in my life? All the backlogs pulls me back. I also come out from the ocean of overthinking when I observe people at the station and train when I return from my tuitions. I realize that no one is sitting idle, everyone is doing some job whether she or he likes it or not. I get immensely inspired by those people that all the hard work since 11 years will obviously not go wasted. Leaving everything upon luck and fortune will give nothing and no result. Material destiny is death. Till the day I am alive, I need to survive properly. Maybe my experience does not donate anything in literacy, but somehow it is a small thesis on practical life. My grandmother before dying told me that Utsho, being doctor is not the motto of life, being a human is. She would not mind if I become a teacher rather than a doctor. All she wanted was a PhD degree or a doctor sign in front of my name. For me, the degree DR, doctor, PhD, is not a degree of literacy. It is a milestone of education that any field you work in reach till the end. How much tough the situations are. Don't lose hope. If there is a will, there will always be a way.